I was going to ask you, have you ever used the hashtag phage life? <laughs> no. Is this yeah. like a salt life kind of thing? <laughs> well, you mentioned Versus... lifestyles, and I just yeah. thought I've never heard of the term phage lifestyle um, used together. And I thought phage life, it sounds like something that you may desire or something that you may want. Are these phages going to be beneficial for us? Is that the objective? Or are there phages that are always that are bad? Or how, how do you view the phages that are working in the gut microbiome? Yeah, well, you know, I say lifestyle. I actually probably should have said life cycle. Uh, but yeah, lifestyle, it sounds cooler. Uh, <laughs> yes, I imagine a, uh, the use of these phages for beneficial function. And this, of course, works in hand in hand with our great growing understanding of the gut microbiome. So in one way, we can engineer phages to uh, genetically modify, reprogram uh, bacteria such as pathogens so that they uh, no longer really express those virulence factors. And in a way, it's an antivirulence effect, but on a genetic level. So normally with antivirulence drugs and things like that, you have to uh, develop things that target things that are accessible. So for example, uh, a small molecule or maybe an antibody that targets a uh, outer membrane protein or toxin that's secreted, or a small molecule that can traverse the, uh, the, the cytoplasmic membrane and the outer membrane. And so these kind of compounds rely on other uh, factors that are bacteria specific. But uh, I believe that you could use phages in a way that's more programmable. So for example, you can uh, use a, a temperate phage to infect a bacteria, uh, integrate its genome into the bacterial chromosome as a prophage, and then express specific genes that target other intracellular targets within the bacteria. So for example, using DCAS9 to programmably repress specific virulence genes in that bacteria, or express spe specific regulators uh, of bacterial virulence in a way that you can attenuate the bacterial pathogen without, uh, with, with, while minimizing the impact on uh, fitness and hopefully uh, domesticating these bacteria without outright killing them. Uh, the, re the rationale here is that we, we minimize uh, the loss of fitness and so minimize the potential selection for resistance. And that's something we're really excited about and, and actively investigating.